Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon as per respective time zone. On behalf of MassTech Managed Services team, we'd like to welcome you all to the 23B Global Human Resource Advisor webinar session. This important session is to keep you fully synchronized with the new features and functionalities as a part of this quarter release which Oracle provides. My name is Hardik Patel, I'm an Operations Manager here at MassTech Managed Services team. Today I'm your host for this session and I'm glad to introduce my colleague Diksha Badoga, who's part of our vast HCM team at MassTech. Today she'll take us through all the global human resource updates for 23B quarter release. Today's session is planned for around 45 to 60 minutes and we'll make sure that we also spare some time to answer all your questions you may have. We also have the HCM um, experts reader available with us. You can also drop questions or uh, through the chat or question panel if you have any. Before we move to the agenda, let's have a quickly look at the quick disclaimer, please. We'd like to convey your approach towards Oracle of this in a very simpler method. We'll be taking you through vital analysis for the 23B updates done by our experts, which will help you incorporating new features and updates easily into your system. We'll also sync you on any bugs or known issues if there are any. It's good to have an interactive session, so as mentioned earlier, please do ask questions or chat or question panel, please. Um, this is to give you a glimpse on how we have um, crafted the structure of this session. So the first thing which you see is a list of new features coming into 23B, detailing on features, so you get a brief understanding on what new features are all about. The next one is what are the business benefits and important takeaway for you as a decision maker. There are four components where we have done in-depth analysis for the features which are, which are going to present to you today. The first one is impact level analysis which demonstrate the impact on end user. If it's a low impact, then regression testing can be avoided. If it's a high impact, then we need to opt for regression testing. Second one, which is, we all are aware, there, there are some features which are by default auto enabled by Oracle, and there are some which we need to opt for. And the third one highlights the nature of the feature. There would be certain configuration which may be required and some can be used without any changes. And the last one is quick win. This term we simply uh, use to convey that what is ready to use by investing minimum amount of time and what requires significant amount of time and efforts to make use of this feature. Uh, before I hand it over to my colleague to begin for today's session, just uh, um, on the screen, would like to do a quick poll and would like to note down the industry um, your organization belongs to, please. I'll be closing the poll now. Thank you so much. And uh, now I'll be handing over to my colleague and she'll be taking you through um, today's session. So Diksha, if you can please unmute yourself and stage is all yours. And before we begin, uh, can we just make sure that um, I'm audible or Diksha is audible? Please someone from the panelists, if you can reconfirm Sridhar or Rahul, please. Diksha, please go ahead and just do the mic test and then begin. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Diksha. I think you're loud and clear, Diksha. Please go ahead for today's oh. session. Thank you. Sure. And I'm here to take you through the latest features as part of 23B release. So first of all, we'll go through the statistics of the latest features. Uh, you can use the keyboard next button if that's okay, Diksha, if you're struggling. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. 
So uh, there are 26 total features that have been released in the latest uh, 23B release and uh, out of which six are the HCM common features and 20 are the global HR. And out of these 20, seven are the quick win default uh, features and 12 are the quick win opt-ins which require a little effort from the user side for the configuration. And one is the rest feature which involves testing. Uh, as well as some setup from the user side. So we'll go through each one of them one by one. So first of all, let's go through the quick win, which are the default uh, features which require minimum configuration or no configuration at all. So the first one is override standard working hours in the assignment. The earlier standard working hours attribute in the assignment has now been renamed as uh, derived standard working hours to indicate that this value is derived from this work structure hierarchy. For example, if the standard working hours derived from any of the work structures object is 40 weekly and it is specified that the assignment standard working hours are 50, the assignment standard working hours will be taken into consideration for the calculation of adjusted FTE. The business benefit of this feature is that it gives the ability to change the standard working hours based on the requirement and also to control the FTE calculation. The next feature that we have is derive standard working hours from job and location for assignment. Earlier, the standard working hours and frequency were derived from the position, uh, look, uh, position department, legal employer and enterprise in this order, but now job and location have also been included in this derivation hierarchy. So the derivation logic is uh, is as follows. Uh, first of all, the uh, uh, attribute is looked upon on the position level. If there is any value stored against the position, then the same is defaulted on the assignment. Similarly, if there is no value on the position level, then it moves to the next um, uh, attribute which is the job so if there is a value stored on the job level the same is defaulted on the assignment and if there is no uh, attribute value present on the job then it moves to the location and the same is uh, defaulted in the assignment and if there is uh, no value on the location then it moves to the department and similarly if there is no value on the department it moves to the legal employer and if there is no value on the legal employer also, it moves to the enterprise. The uh, business benefit of this is that now the attribute values can be defaulted from job and location as well. Uh, for example, if there are two assignments mapped to uh, uh, an employee. So uh, one is uh, mapped against the job, which is 20, and other is mapped against the location 35. So the both of these uh, standard working hours will be indicated against each of the two assignments. Now let's move to the next feature, which is calculate and store adjusted FTE in responsive employment pages. The adjusted FTE is calculated by multiplying the FTE value with the ratio of the annual working duration and standard annual working duration. So for example, if somebody works only 36 weeks annually, while the standard working duration is 52 weeks, the working hours and standard working hours are 20 and 40 weekly respectively. So 20 divided by 40 becomes 0.5 and the annual working ratio will be 36 divided by 52. So the adjusted FTE will be calculated as FTE into annual working ratio, which becomes 0.5 into 36 divided by 52 and which is 0.34. So the business benefit of this particular feature is that it enables you to manage an additional adjusted FTE value at the assignment level thereby giving you more flexibility to manage your statutory FTE requirements. The next feature we have is from the journeys there uh, the last name validation for native electronic signature in journeys. So we can now leverage the additional last name validation for the native electronic signature journey tasks. So 
if the validation type is enabled on the last name, the task performer needs to only enter their last name to electronically sign the document. The last name is validated against the value of the last name in the person's record. So uh, the business benefit of this is that now the validation can also be done on the basis of the last name. So while configuring uh, or creating a journey task, the validation type has to be selected as last name only. And while completing a task, the user has to enter the last name and uh, the validation will be performed. The next uh, feature that we have is synchronized journey configuration changes to assign journeys and tasks. So new attributes for enable expiry and target durations have been introduced. And these are uh, uh, assigned. The process now supports syncing of enable expiry and target duration attributes. The next feature that we have is also from the journeys where we can defer the creation of document in DocuSign journey task. So this particular feature enables, uh, that allows to defer the creation of the document to be signed in DocuSign until the time the user initiates the DocuSign journey task. So we need to enable a particular profile option to defer the document creation. By default, this option is always set to uh, no. The next quick win feature that we have is the uh, add codes to position pages. Earlier, there were no codes on the position pages. Now, these codes can be enabled on the position pages using the HTML Design Studio, such as department title, job code, location code, parent position code, delegate position code, funding position code. And these codes are displayed in the read-only mode because they are only for the user's reference. This feature uh, reduces the mistakes and improves the usability of the position pages by enabling you to see the codes that clearly identify the objects on the pages. Next we have are the quick win opt-ins. So the first one is Redwood experience for collective agreements. Now the uh, user experience has been enriched with the new collective agreements page developed using the Redwood tool set. And this page is built from the ground up using Visual B uh, Builder Studio VBS to give you a unique experience of Oracle applications. The search can be performed on this page using the name, code, or country. And the business benefit of this particular uh, uh, page is that it offers lesser number of clicks and better performance. By using these new pages or flows, you can take advantages of cohesiveness through the application. Next we have is the Redwood experience for departments. Uh, the, uh, the new department page is also developed using the Redwood tool set. The page is built from the ground up uh, using Visual Builder Studio to give you a unique experience of Oracle applications. And any department can be searched on this page using the department name, title, or location. The business benefit of this uh, feature is also the same, which offers lesser number of clicks and better performance. And you can take the advantage of cohesiveness throughout the application with the new page. Next one that we have is the Redwood experience for document delivery preferences. And the page is again uh, built up from the Visual Builder Studio, and it gives a unique experience of Oracle applications. And it navigates you to the new advanced search person page. And the document delivery preferences page appears when you select a person on the search page. And the new page also displays the list of delivery preferences for different types of uh, different document types. The business benefit is that that it is built using the Redwood tool set and offers better performance. And uh, 
also the advantage of cohesiveness through the application call can also be obtained from this next we have is the redwood experience for eligible jobs uh, the user experience is enriched with the new eligible jobs page developed using the redwood tool set and the the list of eligible jobs can also can be found on this page the business benefit is also again same that it offers lesser number of clicks and better performance next feature that we have is the redwood experience for eligible jobs Uh, which is in continuation to the previous one and if a worker has multiple assignments you can seamlessly switch between the assignments to view the relevant eligible jobs without having to go back to the search page again to find that job next that we have is the redwood experience for employment contracts the enrich the user experience with the new employment contracts page developed using the redwood tool set and on this page the employment can contracts can be updated corrected deleted or even extended to the user and this page again offers lesser number of clicks and better performance and you can take advantage of cohesiveness through the application with this new page for the employment contracts next one that we have is the redwood experience for job families Uh, you can now enrich the user experience with the new jobs page developed using the redwood tool set and this page is for the uh, jobs to be searched on the basis of the name code or the job family and the results can also be sorted on the basis of relevance name and codes the business benefit of this particular feature is also similar that it offers lesser number of clicks and better performance next that we have is the redwood experience for locations so on this particular page any location can be searched on the basis of the name code city or other address fields and the um, search results can also be sorted on the basis of relevance name and codes on this page this page is also uh, also allows lesser number of clicks and better performance next we have is the redwood experience for person identifiers for external application so this uh, allows to uh, find the person identifiers of uh, all the people and uh, the new page offers lesser number of clicks and better performance next we have is the redwood experience for positions so you can now search for a position based on the name code parent position or the incumbent and you can also sort the search results based on the relevance and name and code on this uh, position so if you click on the position name to open the details page you can also update correct and delete the position from this page in addition you can also delete the date effective record of the position only those attributes having a value are displayed on the view page and you can also view the history of changes from this page so this page offers lesser number of clicks and better performance next we have is the redwood experience for seniority dates uh, v3 so the user experience is now enriched with the new seniority dates v3 page developed using the redwood tool set and the new page navigates you to the advanced search person page the seniority dates page appears when you select a person on the search page the seniority type list of values the lovs display the list of seniority rules applicable for the worker in an alphabetical order additionally you can also type the name in the seniority type box to fetch the required seniority rule type the benefit of this page is that it is built using the redwood tool set and offers better performance and you can take the advantage of cohesiveness throughout the application with the new page next we have is the redwood experience for sh uh, shared data access so uh, the uh, enrich the user experience with the new shared data access page developed using the redwood tool set the page is built from the ground up using usual builder studio to give you a unique experience of the oracle applications this page is turned off by default but you can enable it using a profile option the business benefit of this 
page is that it offers less number of clicks and better performance. The next that we have are the rest opt-in features. So the first one is the journeys and the, the features name is the nudges for journey reminders. So the following nudges can be used to remind employees and managers about their task and task statuses. So there are four types of such uh, nudges. First is the journey not completed. So a nudge can be generated when the assigned date of the journey has passed and it can be created after n number of days. Similarly, there is second type of nudge, which is task in a journey is not complete. So if a task in a journey is pending, so a nudge can be generated after a number of days to notify the uh, employees and managers that their task is not completed. Third is the if a journey has overdue tasks. So if the journey assigned date has uh, uh, passed and the completion date is also passed, but the task is not completed, then a nudge can be generated after a number of days to notify the employees and managers. The fourth type of nudges, if a journey is not started, and then the nudge is generated after n days after the journey assigned date. So the business benefit of this feature is that this feature provides timely information to the employees or manager and enables them to take appropriate actions regarding their journey and task progress. So while configuring the nudge, the channel type has to be selected and it is to be associated with a predefined journey. Now let's go through the HCM common features. So the first one is autocomplete rules for HCM experience design studio enhancements. So now the user's experience is enhanced using new roles in autocomplete rules for HCM experience design studio with the capabilities below. The first one is read a user defined table, a UDT. So using the new global function, you can now get a unique value according to any custom mapping, for example, if there is a case to not allow salary greater than the rate amount defined for jobs and grades or both in a higher and employee transaction. So the same type of uh, transaction can be configured using the autocomplete rules. The business benefit of this particular uh, feature is that these features will ensure accurate and consistent data by validating the user entered values. And secondly, will allow the organization to adjust quickly with HR compliance without relying on any new release update. The second one is read the transaction approval state. Using the new global function, you can now skip your autocomplete validation rules using some states in the approval workflow. For example, validate higher date is in the future during the initial submit, but skip the validation even if the approver edits the transaction sometime later, or the approver approves it and the higher date is in the past when the actions are performed. Next we have is the Oracle search for professional users, person spotlight search for professional users. So use the person spotlight search that leverages Oracle search to quickly search and filter people. Filter the results using the wide variety of assignment related filters such as effective as of date and include terminated work relationship. Use keyword search to find people by display name or assignment number and view the search results in a grid pattern that is easy to read. View workers active assignments when you open the person spotlight search personalize the columns of the displayed results and select a person from the search results and load their person spotlight page where you can perform certain tasks depending on the role. So the business benefit of this particular feature is that it enhances professional users ability to search and filter individuals and populations to work with. Next we have is the Oracle search uh, professional uses for position detail search enhanced by Oracle search. So use the request position change search that leverages Oracle search to quickly search and filter positions to change. Use keyword search to find positions by name, code, 
parent position or incumbent filter the results using the wide variety of position related filters for example effective date status hiring status view the results in a grid pattern which is easy to read personalize the columns of the displayed results and select a position from a search from the search results and open the position page where you can perform certain tasks depending on the role so this feature enhances users ability to search and filter details of the positions and it also uses the latest state of the art oracle search server and a modern customizable user interface next we have is the department search for professional users so as a professional user you can view the search results and find the required department pages to work with so use the keyword search to find the departments by name title or location filter the results using the wide variety of department related filters for example effective date status set name location name view the search results in a grid pattern which is easy to read personalize the columns of the displayed results and select the particular department from the search results and load their basic details page where you can perform any task which you want to perform the benefit of this page is that it enhances uh, professional users ability to search and filter departments to work with and uh, it also uses the latest state of the art oracle search server and a modern customizable user interface next we have is the location search for professional users so as a professional users you can view the search results and find the required location pages too with location search you can use the keyword search to find locations by name code city or other address fields filter the results using the wide variety of location related filters for example effective date status city or town country location set view the search results in a grid pattern that are easy to use personalize the columns of the displayed results and select a location from the search result and load their basic details page where you can perform any task that you want to so this feature also enhances professional users ability to search and filter locations to work with next we have is the job search for professional users use oracle search to quickly and easily search for jobs use the keyword search to find jobs by name code or job family filter the results using wide variety of job related filters for example effective date status job set and job family view the results in a grid pattern that is easier to read personalize the columns of the displayed results and select the job from the search results so that their basic details page opens up and you can perform the task that you want to perform the benefit of this feature is that it enhances professional users ability to search and filter jobs to work with it also uses the latest state of the art oracle search server and a modern customizable user interface over to you hardik uh, thank you for the wonderful um Wonderful insights, Diksha. You're welcome. Um, before we um, quickly move uh, to the Q&A session, uh, we'd like to quickly note down um, that would you like to receive more information on the any of the above technology innovations, chatbot, RPA, IoT, managed services, value-based analytics, Glide 4.0? If you have any questions on any of these, you can also reach out to the respective support managers and they'll be able to help you as well. If you need any one-to-one -one connect on any of these, we'll be able to help you. Okay, I'll be closing the poll now. Thank you so much. Um, we've got the expert from HCM um, um, three that are available. Can you check if you have any questions in the chat or question panel? And confirm back to me please um, nothing as such uh, no no questions at all okay um, that's absolutely fine um, but before you all leave us we'd like to um, tell you that we'll be sending you the task scripts and um, the recording of this session 
in uh, by the, by this week and um, along with the other upcoming sessions as well, which you can see on the list um, on the screen right now. Yep, so we have uh, HR Help Desk and other few session benefits coming up this week and next week as well. So please, if, if anyone has not registered, please register. Um, and if you're stuck anywhere, give us a shout um, or connect with the respective support manager. And as I've mentioned, we'll be sending you the test scripts and recording of the session and also the upcoming ones, <clears throat> which, will, sorry, which will be available to you at a single click. So please do look, look out for an email for the same. And just uh, the last thing uh, before you all leave us, uh, could you please rate us on the scale of one to five on today's session so that we can improve based on your feedback? Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, I'll be closing the poll now. And just the last question, and uh, we won't be troubling you more, that were you part of, uh, have you attended the previous webinar? Session. Thank you once again for your valuable feedback, valuable time. And um, just to conclude, um, we'd like to say thank you, everyone. And uh, please do look for an email where you'll see the link and you click on it and you'll see the recording of this session along with the test scripts for the 8CM part. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.